Alright, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe. This is an Omega Seamaster Professional reference number 2220.80. I would call this probably the last of the original uh, James Bond uh, Seamaster watches. It looks quite similar to the one that came out uh, around 1993-94, except this one has applied indices and a red Seamaster text uh, under the Omega logo on the dial. So it's, uh, I think, a significantly better looking version of the original. And it's also got the coaxial uh, movement. I bought this watch, I've had this on another video, but I bought this watch knowing that it came with an aftermarket bezel insert. If you are familiar with bezel inserts, you probably can recognize that immediately based on the uh, loom pip. That's usually the biggest tell with the aftermarket bezel inserts. That pip is usually raised and um, just doesn't look exactly like the original. Uh, other than the pip, I thought the bezel didn't look too bad, but the uh, uh, bezel insert didn't look too bad. But what bothered me was that it's somewhat raised uh, uh, compared to the height of the crystal and, and a bit sharp. Uh, you know, may have been, might be due to being glued in, but uh, it just didn't feel like the original. So, as you see, I'm holding uh, on the right. Uh, that's an original Seamaster bezel used, which I uh, acquired, and I figured I'd uh, swap out bezels to see uh, how the watch looked with an original uh, bezel insert. Now, even though. Uh, this aftermarket is very new and bright looking. I think I prefer the look of a used OEM bezel personally. I mean, as long as it's not totally destroyed, just because it, it's more in keeping uh, with the watch. And uh, I do notice the little things like like the loom pip uh, I had mentioned. So I'm going to show the steps in doing that uh, right now. So I've showed this before. Uh video you can make this out of this PVC fitting which is a um, one and a half um, glue connection to a three-quarter inch screw connection um, you cut lines into the uh, PVC fitting so that it can be compressed with a hose clamp such as this one I believe it's one and a half inch size and so the way this the idea is you put this over the bezel um, I'll try to do it here I don't know how much I can do this on camera so I actually loosen this make sure it's not hindering so you have to just press it on there I may have to press a little harder Okay, so there you can see that this thing is on the bezel, right? Um, when you're sure it's on, tighten the screw. Well, try and move this down so that it's uh, putting more force where you need it around the bezel. You can tighten by hand some. If you need, I would suggest tighten, you know, a pretty good amount because if you don't, um, it may slip off when you're trying to work. So you can see it's it seems to be on there pretty good because you're able to turn the bezel. You see that? So this part may be hard for me to capture on camera, but you want to turn and pull. And the idea is you try to pull the bezel off. Okay, you see what happened there? It slipped off. Um, that means that this wasn't tight enough. Um, so I'm going to have to try again. Okay. Managed to just loosen this. You take it off again. So here's the... See that click? That's how it was really holding it in. Well, And there is a Seamaster... Genuine Seamaster bezel with no insert. If you wanted to reverse this process, you know, you just... Um, put in your aftermarket, you'd make sure you line the pip up with the middle of one of the um, 
scallop edges where it comes out and that's about it I'm gonna see if this one I can't really get this one to pop in oh, there oh see I don't know if if some aftermarkets will pop in or not this one seems like you see now Here it seems like it's in just from pressure, but you see it comes off. So you probably do with something like this. You probably you may have to use a, a little bit of adhesive. Um, but so here's the watch without the bezel. You can see some crud in there. Uh, I will be wiping that off and um, be putting my used but OEM bezel um, on there so I'll be back in a second after that's cleaned up so um, I put the um, new bezel on but it wasn't turning well so I took it off again and decided I need to clean under here much better um, I washed I used the uh, old toothbrush uh, but there's some glue residue from when the aftermarket I guess from when the aftermarket you see there with my nail I'm scraping it um, and I think that might be um, not a good idea to leave there so I'm just trying to take that off and um, hopefully once I do that I can try again and um, see if it works so here bezel's not installed yet uh, the click spring is out I was cleaning it um, but I'm just testing to see how it turns on here see it does not in yet and if you press this in now it'll, it won't click because it's missing the click spring so just wanted to see but you can get an idea of how it's going to look when we're done yeah the bezel doesn't look as new obviously the, with this OEM used insert but I think it goes with a watch better and I just prefer it that way here is the watch with a brand new bezel installed I unfortunately couldn't film what happened but the used bezel uh, I was trying to install was not fitting very well on the watch my feeling is that it was probably not the uh, not a perfect match for 2220.80 you have to be very careful with Omega parts because sometimes they may look identical but they're not 100% identical so um, what I did was purchase a brand new one uh, I came ready to use and just pressed it on to the watch there's really not much to show there but uh, it, that just involves you know just a straight pressure and it will click into place and this is the end result I think uh, the watch looks much better I highly recommend if uh, you're you have a bad bezel or you know an aftermarket bezel insert just um, go for it and get a, a new OEM you can order from uh, Omega it just makes a big difference in how the watch looks and although a little pricier than one might hope it's uh, I think it's well worth it so I hope this was helpful if you're thinking of doing any kind of work or modding or changing of a bezel on your Seamaster it's not that hard to do it may seem a little intimidating at first but uh, once you get the hang of it, uh, it's definitely fun and it's nice to be able to do these things yourself.